guys, welcome to another World War Marvel. Uh, as you know, I'm Adam, and today I'm here with John. And we are going to bring you another 30 point match of Marvel Universe miniature game by Knight's Models. Um, with a slight change, because we're actually trying new missions today, right? Yeah, we're going to so, try the D8 D8 mission sets. Yeah. Uh, these were posted on the Marvel Universe fan groups. That's right. Uh, it's just a chance to you know mix up the missions, because really, with the three missions you have in the game right now, it gets a little dull. It gets repetitive very fast. Um, so we've actually decided already on the missions. We rolled off on that. So the first mission or primary mission is going to be uh, investigate the alien artifact which is what exactly well so in this mission it's a lot a little bit like the relics only you've got the one object to yep. investigate instead of the two yeah so you place one objective center of the board yeah and then the objective of the mission is to get out there and have your guys try to figure out what it is yeah that's and, essential and so what happens is when you are in base contact with this artifact you have to spend a power then make a willpower roll at minus two and if you successfully make that roll you actually have to roll on a chart to see what happens from the artifact yeah. which has some pretty humorous stuff yeah so like you could be dealt damage you could be pushed away from it you can be healed or teleported and like it's an area effect yeah, it's you know what i mean you, it's, expensive it's like waves, that, so it's yeah. everybody in that area that's right um so the victory points for that is uh every time you have a hero that successfully gains or uh investigates the artifact you get yeah, every investigation one investigation is one victory point up to a max of four yep yep uh you get one victory point for having to investigate the alien artifact more times than your opponent yep that's at the end of the game yep uh if your opponent did not investigate the alien artifact you gain a victory point yep uh, and then you get one victory point if the friendly hero that first investigated the artifact on your team is not KO'd or removed as a casualty at the end of the game. Not bad. So you can do a maximum of seven victory points off of the primary condition. That's right. Now the reason it's the D8-D8 is you roll eight-sided die for a primary condition. Yeah. You roll a second eight-sided die for a secondary condition. Which our secondary objective is actually assassinate. So with this one, we both needed to have a hero that either had perfect plan or leadership, which, which both our teams did. And we selected our teams actually beforehand. Yeah, we um, did a little back. You're supposed to pick your mission, then pick your teams. But we did it the other way. It so just, It all worked out. It's like we planned it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so assassinate, basically what it is, is either you nominate one hero on your enemy's team that has leadership or a perfect plan, and based on where they are, whether if they're in the red at the end of the game, you get a, a victory point from that, or if they're knocked out at the end of the game, you get two, or if they're incapacitated and removed from the game, you get three uh, victory points. So in total, you can gain a 10 victory points from these two missions combined. Um, so I'm playing the Guardians. You're going to be playing X-Men. Play X-Men, yeah. So let's show you the board. Let's show you the models, and we'll get right into the game. All right, guys. So this is my 30 points of Guardians of the Galaxy. So I have on the far end here, I have Star-Lord. Then I have Nova, Gamora, and Groot. And let's be honest, it's not just 30 points. We're actually playing 32 points apiece, just to change it up so we can both get the models that we we're kind of looking at. Um, so that is my team for this match. Oh, All right, guys, so this is John's 32 points of X-Men. Uh, he is using Gambit, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, Colossus, and Deadpool. So he does have one extra model, uh, starting model above myself. So he, or, uh, so I, sorry, get the extra pass when I want it for this game. So we'll go into showing the table next. All right, guys, so this is the board that we're playing on uh, today. Uh, it's more of like an industrial section that has an artifact. We'll show you what the artifact and the objective is here in a second. So you got all these towers. You got a whole bunch of debris, all the barrels and stuff like that around. And then all the way over there, you can see a faint outline on the green board. That is the three by three section. So right here, that is the artifact. So you have to be in base contact with that artifact to activate it. And again, you do that by spending one power and making a willpower roll at minus two to see what happens. So we'll come back after the power phase and the initiative phase and we'll get right into the game. All right, guys, just so you know, I actually should have said that we will be deploying first. Um, and with that said, we drew to see who would have the first deployment, and it was a Guardian's token, so I will be deploying first. All right, so for my first deployment, I decided to deploy Star-Lord six inches in from the edge of the board. So John has decided to deploy Deadpool right there for his first deployment. We'll come back with my second. All right, so my second deployment is Nova. He is right there and is eyeballing first turn 
steal of the alien artifact if Nightcrawler doesn't bamf in there first. Colossus is set up right there, six inches in from his board edge. Gamora has been set up right there, uh, again going towards that center objective. Alright, so John has decided to set up Nightcrawler right beside Colossus there for his third deployment. Yep. So we've decided to set up group right there beside Gamora, again trying to control that center objective or hoping to get up there to control that center objective before anybody else does, but we'll see what happens. And we'll finish off with John's two deployments next. Alright, so John has decided to deploy Gambit and Cyclops right there beside everybody else. So it looks like Cyclops is within that center, giving everybody that should matter, that extra plus one power for uh, the first round at least. So we'll come back after initiative next. Alright, so I drew the uh, initiative token and it ended up being the Guardians again. So I am declaring to uh, use Nova as my first activation this round. And I am going to spend three of his power to move into base contact with that artifact. So, with that artifact now in base contact, I'm now going to roll his willpower to see if he can activate it using a fourth power. So I need to get below 10, so that is five in total. So he does succeed on activating the artifact, so now I need to roll a D8, and we'll see what it is. So he gets one to two is three damage dealt all to all heroes six within inches. six inches. So that is three damage to Nova. Only two, actually, because of his... Actually, is there a type to that damage? Uh, no, there's nope. no type. All right, so three damage to Nova. And that is the... End of his activation. He scored one victory point. All right, so for John's first activation, he is activating Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, and what is he doing? So Nightcrawler is going to use his teleport multiple. Oh, teleport so three multiple. Power. Yeah. So it is. It costs three power, okay. but it allows him to teleport and take a model who's in base-to-base -base contact with him, his buddy Colossus. Yeah. And then redeploy them anywhere on the board. That's awesome. So, so he's going to go yoink. Bamf, look at that. Right there. His buddy Colossus is going to show up with him right there. Yep. Has to be in base to base with Nightcrawler, so we yep. can't quite make contact with Nova. That's and okay. I probably should have repositioned a little, which I may do to make sure I can do that. So I'm going to go like that and like that. So they're both in base to base with the objective. Yep. And they're also in base to base with no and Colossus is now in base to base with Nova. Awesome. Because Colossus really wants to do some throwing. He wants to do some throwing, for sure. So that is the teleport other, or is it yep, teleport so that's friend? Tel it's a teleport multiple. Teleport multiple. So that costs multiple. me three of, now because I started in range of Cyclops, I actually have seven power yep. this turn. Instead of six, like normal. Yeah, so that leaves me with four power left. Awesome. So with that remaining uh, four power, I'm going to spend one of it to try to investigate the artifact myself. Yep. So I only have willpower seven. Yep. And minus two means I need to do a five or five or less. Or less. So we'll see what the roll is. And so That's there is an eight. eight. That so is, he does not. He does succeed. not investigate successfully. Nope. But that cost him one power, so he's got three left. And what is he going to do next then? With that last power, he's going to do another bamf because just get out well, of there. why not? So second bamf, and, and he's, he's going to pu port back here and to cover. It's probably the best thing for him. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of his activation. That's yep. the end of his activation. Right. He's going to camp on his last one. We'll come back next with my next activation. All right, so my next activation, I'm going to be activating Star-Lord. He's going to be using three power to fly 12 inches all the way up here. And he should be within 12 inches of Nightcrawler. He's then going to use two power to use Quad Laser. Are you going to do anything with I that? I am going to, yeah. I will use one power. It's an energy attack. Uh, it is an energy attack, so yeah. So I am going to boost my energy defense. Okay. Throw out my little uh, energy token there. So that will be all of uh, Nightcrawler's power used. Okay, and uh, the So that puts energy. his energy defense up to a 20. Oh, let's see if I can get this. I need to roll pretty good. All right, so that's 10. Plus six is 16, so that is not a hit by Star-Lord. But he's gonna save the rest of his two power to use as a reaction later on. All right, so John has decided to activate Colossus next. He is going to be targeting uh, Nova with a pickup 
or with a grab and throw uh, power, you can use it once around. Um, are you overloading that? I am overloading okay. it. Yeah. So I am spending an energy to increase uh, Nova's uh, physical defense by two. Uh, plus he's flying, so his physical defense right now is 18. Uh, and so we'll see what happens with that attack. All right, so here is the rolls for Colossus' attack. So that is a critical. He definitely grabs him. That yeah. is 14 plus eight, it's 22 on its own right there in the rolls. Uh, so we'll see where Colossus decides to throw Nova next. All right, so. so Colossus has decided to throw Nova up against that building right there. Uh, he does hit it. Well, you have to roll to hit the target defense 12. Actually, yeah. Here's a roll to see if he actually hits the uh, building. So it's nine plus his attack of seven. seven. So it's definitely a hit. Um, so Colossus, or sorry, Nova takes so it's my three strength. damage. Yes, three damage. So strength minus one and three. Colossus is next going to use a power to investigate the artifact. So minus two to his willpower and he needs to roll below it. Yeah, so willpower is eight, which means I need a six, six or lower. Advanced. And that is an 11 in total, so that is not a successful investigation. So after failing that investigation roll on the artifacts, uh, Colossus cannot do it again for the rest of the game and he's going to camp on the rest of his power. So I'll go into my activation next. Right, so I'm deciding to activate Gamora next. She's going to use her uh, two movement to move up here and just tuck in behind that barrel there. She's then going to use her blast gun and is going to target Nova with the blast gun. Nova's then going to spend two energy to cancel that attack and have his Nova Pulse supercharged until he uses it next. And Gamora will camp on her four energy that she has left. Okay. John's next activation is Cyclops. He's decided to spend two power with Cyclops and move him over there. And it looks like he's lining up a shot over here on Nova next. We'll see what happens. All right, so Cyclops here is gonna overload massive blasts over here on Nova. Uh, he has no energy left to do anything, so let's see if it hits. All right, so I am attack of seven. Yep, Nova has energy defense. 18. All right, so I need 11s on three dice. Yeah. Or 12 on three dice. Yeah, 12 on three dice. Let's see what happens. And that is another hit Yeah. on Nova. So how, it's four damage, correct? Five. So he takes four damage in total because of his resist energy. He, Nova is still in the pit. So after Cyclops' is activation, he is using Master Tactician. So here's his willpower roll. And so that's nine, nine and it does not go off. Okay, so my next activation here is going to be using two energy from Groot. He's going to be moving up right in between Gamora and Nova. Um, and then from there, that is all he's going to be doing this round. So Gambit is John's next activation. He's going to be moving up, uh, looks like by spending two energy and moving yep. up the full seven inches or so. Yep. Right there. And sadly, that's pretty much all he can do because he doesn't have anything in range. All right, and he's doing nothing else this round. He's on seven to start. Deadpool is going to be body sliding next for his activation, starting it off. Let's see where he goes. All right, okay. Ending his body slide over here, right behind Star-Lord. So is he doing anything else? Yep, he's going to use Trick. Okay. Burn the one energy for that. Yep. So target must pass a willpower roll or obtain distract two until the end of the round. Here's his willpower roll. So it's 11 out of 11. So You're he's good. not distracted. All right, and then I'm going to bang bang you. And then he's going to bang bang. So I'm going to use one of Star Lord's energy. Yeah, so and to overload. his energy defense is now a 16. Uh, or it's physical, a physical, sorry, physical, is physical. Physical. Okay. So <laughs> uh, here's the roll for the right, overloaded so bang bang. I am seven. Yep. Seven attack. And then I do have the reroll because of Master Punch. That's right. All right, so that is a hit. But I'm going to reroll the one. Absolutely, see so if you can get that. And it's no critical. No crit. So he no does mass, No one assassin, damage. but it is still one damage. Yep, one damage to Star Lord. So the end of the round, this it looks like Deadpool's up there facing off against Star Lord. Nightcrawler's over there. He no longer has that plus two energy because it is the end of the round. Gambit's coming up the side. Cyclops is over there. Colossus is in the center. And then you have Nova, Gamora, and Groot there. So we'll go into the initiative phase and energy, well, the energy phase or power phase and the initiative and so forth. And we'll come back with the next round. Correction, we're gonna do uh, Nova's uh, stamina first because he is in the pale, so I need to roll 10 or less. 
So Nova is still fine with an eight. Once they All right, fail, so they I have eight. decided to use Star Lord's perfect plan and stole initiative. So I'm gonna spend, uh, activate Nova first. I'm gonna try getting him a dodge. Um, he's gonna stand up by using one power. Then he's gonna use Nova Pulse on Colossus Overloaded. All right, so with that being said, John has used one of Colossus's power to uh, increase Colossus energy defense up to 19. So I need to roll really well on this die roll. And that is not well enough with 11 plus five attack from Nova. So that is a miss and we will see what Nova does left or next with his two power. So after Nova stirred up attacks, he decided to use his last two power to come hide behind this crate uh, right beside Gamora. We'll go back to John's activation next. All right, so John's next activation is going to be with Deadpool. Sorry. Correct. All right, so after moving to base contact, he is using an overloaded, you said, armor yes. buster? Overloaded armor buster. Against Star-Lord, so Star-Lord is going to spend an energy power to uh, increase his physical defense uh, by two, so putting up to 16, but because he's flying, he gets that extra one, so he is at 17 physical defense right now. So let's see what happens with the roll. All right, so I need 11. So that is a critical hit and by Deadpool. And there's no point in trying to reroll the seven because nope. I can't get so the to strike So Star-Lord takes three damage. So after having distract minus two, or distract two put on Star-Lord, the Star-Lord is back down to a physical defense of 14, 15 with flying, and John's now deciding to use a basic stab stab on him. So let's see what happens. So that's six plus right. seven. So Master Fighter, I'm gonna reroll yep. the one. Absolutely. So that's Still another one. one, so that is a miss right there. Yeah. Star-Lord has been moved down to his pail, so at the end of the round he will have to make a check, uh, but we'll see what happens during his activation. Well, Guardian's activation. All right, I'm gonna activate Gamora next. She's going to be spending two power, and she's gonna be moving into base-to-base -base contact with the alien artifacts and Colossus right there. Uh, she's next, she's going to be using one power to activate the most dangerous woman in the universe, and then two power for the blast, or what is it, blade swing up against Colossus. And she will be overloading that for a third power. We'll come back with that roll next. So Colossus there has decided to use another power and switch that plus two defense to physical instead of energy. Uh, so now I will need to roll I believe 14, uh, 15 on three dice. We'll see how it goes right here. And that is definitely not a hit. That's 11 plus eight is 19, so the no hit for Gamora. Uh, she will camp on her two power that she has remaining, but she'll activate Master Tactician, and she needs to roll under nine. So there's an eight right there. So I will activate another model next. Correction, before the end of the round, she is using one power to activate the alien artifact, leaving her with one power left. Here's her willpower roll. It's 11, so that is a fail. So she uh, does not activate and cannot activate it again later this round. So after the master tactician from Gamora, Groot's gonna be activating next. He's gonna come to the far side of the alien artifact here. He's going to then um, spend a power to activate it. So that's his third power this round. So we'll come back with that roll next. Here's the roll for the willpower roll for Groot. So it does go off on eight and Groot's willpower is eight. So we'll need a roll on the chart. So seven. Seven is teleport place. All heroes within expansive uh, six inches. 16 inches directly away from the artifact. 16 inches directly away from the artifact. So everybody is pushed back. So after that roll, all models here are teleported 16 inches directly away from the artifact. So that's Groot, that's Gamora, that's Colossus. And, and I believe Nightcrawler is just it. And Gambit over there. As you just heard, Nightcrawler is outside of that range. So those four models are teleported back 16 inches. So after that activation, you have Groot right there, uh, who was teleported 16 inches. You have Gamora right there. You got Gambit all the way back there, <laughs> nowhere to land. And you got Colossus all the way in, well, 
nowhere land as well. So <laughs> that is the end of uh, Groot's activation. He can't do anything else this turn, so we'll go over to John's next activation. All right, so John activated Cyclops next. He moves from over there, spent two power to move all the way over here, hoping to get a line on Nova, but is not successful. So anything else with Cyclops, or is that it? That's, you can activate his Master Tactician. All right, Master Tactician next. Let's see what happens. Ready with my dice. Right there. That's what I did with my dice. Let's see right. if Cyclops so gets it. power is eight. And he eight, gets it with right eight, on. exactly. So we'll see who he activates next. So with that Master Tactician, uh, John did activate Colossus and he just moved him up from that location over there all the way over here just to try to get him back into the fight. So Colossus has nothing left. Uh, it's over to me and I'm going to activate Star-Lord next. All right, so Star-Lord's first part of his activation is going to be moving seven inches back over here onto this other wall. He's then going to use his element gun and overload it using uh, four power and the remaining bit of his power to target Deadpool with the element gun. Can do anything about that? He's got zero energy left. All right, so he has zero energy left. Uh, so 16 defense. All right, let's see. So that's seven plus five is 12 plus another five or six, sorry, is 18. So that is two damage on Deadpool. Nightcrawler is John's next activation, so we'll see what he does next. All right, so Nightcrawler has used Banff and put his base right beside <laughs> Star-Lord there. So is he going to be doing anything else against Star-Lord? Yeah, he's going to do some attacking. Oh, some attacking time. Uh, we're going to do a uh, sneak attack. Okay. You were distracted already from earlier in the turn. Yeah. So you're already minus two physical. Yeah. So sneak attack is, it's my red. It is potentially three damage and a further distract two. Awesome. And I will overload it, so okay. I will be camping on zero energy with Nightcrawler. So I technically have a physical defense of 13 instead of 12 right now because he is flying. So. Yes. All right, so let's see if he hits. I'm thinking he should. I'm <laughs> thinking he will. <laughs> All right, so that's seven plus two is nine. Plus, what's your attack? Six. Six, so, so that's, that's a hit. So All right, so that's three damage. Three damage to Star-Lord. And a further distract too, not that it will matter. Star-Lord is still in the pale though, so that's a good thing for him. We'll come back with Gambit's activation next. So Gambit there is just going to be moving forward up seven inches, and that's all he's going to be doing this round. All right, so Star-Lord here, he is in the pale, so we got to see if he uh, becomes un unconscious. So his stamina is eight, and I rolled eight, so Star-Lord is still good. Uh, next is Nova. Let's see what his role is. So his role is also an eight. So he is also still good. Both of them are still on their feet. All right. So John has uh, activation or sorry initiative this phase, and he is deciding to activate uh, Deadpool first. He is going to try to trick Star Lord, and so Star Lord needs to make a willpower test or get distract two. So Star Lord's willpower is eleven, uh, and then he rolled a thirteen, so he is distracted with a minus two to his physical defense. All right, All right so uh, Deadpool has then decided to bang, bang uh, Star-Lord, so it is only one damage, but he is overloading it. Um, I won't increase his physical defense at this point in time, so let's see if it hits. So that is definitely a hit. All right, so I'm gonna reroll the three because yep. the Master Fighter. Yep. Looking Hope for, for that, that Assassin is. Strike. Yeah, and there it there is. It is. So, we got that assassin strike in there, so the base physical damage of Deadpool's attack is one. So it is one, doubled, so it's two, two, and then, and then the critical effect, the critical. he gets the extra one damage there. So that in total is three damage to Star-Lord, who is now in the red and needs to make a stamina test. So, stamina test, double one. He's still good. He's good. Anything else with Deadpool or no? Uh, he's going to use his last two to make one more bang-bang attack. All right, one more bang-bang attack against Star-Lord. Let's see what happens. That's so nine. nine. Uh, that is with my. That's more than enough attack. to hit. But I am going to reroll the two. See if you get a critical. And no criticals. So he, Star Lord takes one more damage. He is still on the board though. So we'll come back with my activation next. All right. So for my activation, I'm going to be activating Gamora next. She is going to move up uh, nine inches by using two of her power uh, towards the center there. 
and Nova, and we'll see what she does after that. All right, after her movement ends there, she is going to be targeting Nova with the blast gun, and he will be using a reaction of energy absor absorption by uh, using two uh, power. He's then, or she's then gonna end her activation, camping on five power, just because she doesn't have anybody else in range at this point in time, but she will try to use master tactician, so she needs to uh, make a willpower roll. So that's four, and Nova will be activating next. So I've decided to use two of uh, Nova's energy to move him uh, over there. He's next gonna use his last three to try to target Nightcrawler here with Nova Pulse. Actually, I'm going to react to that. Okay. Nightcrawler's gonna react and bamf. Nightcrawler here is choosing to react and bamf away from Star-Lord. So he's gonna bamf to there. And it should get him out of line of sight. Should get him out of line of sight. It sure the heck does. So that power goes off without any use. So that is the end of Nova's activation as well as Gamora's. So we'll come back with John's next activation. Okay, so Nightcrawler is activating next. He's using one power to move into base contact with Star Lord. He's actually walking instead of bamfing, which yeah. seems funny. And then is going to be. So he's going to do an overloaded strike. Overloaded strike on, uh, on Star Lord. Lord. So it's physical attack. You should still be distracted. Yeah, so he's minus two. Uh, so I have a six attack. Yep. And three dice. He, uh, he'll use one just to increase his physical defense to a 16 minus two is 14 again. So we'll see what happens. All right. Star-Lord has been quite oh, incapacitated this game. Yeah. All so right. Star-Lord is removed. Star-Lord is removed. So and that gains three points for John. Groot here, he's gonna be activating next. He's actually going to be moving up the wall. So he's gonna be moving over the two inches from there to be in base contact with the wall. And then he's going to be using the last six of his movement to end up here on the wall. There's really no way for me to mark it at this point in time unless I get like a sticky tab or something like that. Um, but he is six inches up that wall and does leave Nightcrawler within range of his branch out. So we're gonna start off with that. So he's gonna use uh, his first branch out against Nightcrawler. Yep. So that's seven plus five is 12, does not hit. Uh, so he's got a 15 physical defense here. Yep, so I need to get roll a 11 or higher. So here's the second branch out. That's a 10 plus five is 15, so still not enough to overcome the defense of Nightcrawler and the last of Groot's power to use the last branch out. All right, there's an 11 plus uh, five, so 16, so Nightcrawler does it. take two damage. John's activations next uh, next activation is going to be on Gambit, who's going to be moving up, uh, hopefully seven inches, and looks like he's trying to get Nova in range of some of his attacks. All right, so Gambit here is going to be using a physical phys 52 pickup up against Nova, because Nova's defense right now, because he is in pale, is only a 14 physical defense. So he's going to roll for the first one, see if he hits. All right, so I'm at uh, effectively because of marksman a seven attack. Yep. So he needs to get eight or more, and so there's a Ooh, there's double a eight, critical. so uh, he takes an extra damage from that. Okay, so the 52 pickup is two base damage, and then plus one for the crits. Yeah, so Nova takes three damage from that attack. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and then Nova has to roll to see if he is knocked out, and Nova is not. That is a three on a stamina roll, so he's fine. All right. And Gambit's, Gambit's going to do another physical 52 pickup. Same numbers. Is there any modifier for being in the red now? Uh, same thing. Same, same modifiers. Just minus one power. All right. And there's an 11. 11 so that's plus another seven two is damage. So Nova's still in there, but he only has one damage left. Colossus is activated as well. He's just moved up here to get himself back into the battle. So we'll come back with your last activation, which I believe is Cyclops. Cyclops moving there seven inches, and he's to there. getting in there, and he should have line, line on, Nova. on Nova. So let's see what he does next. Cyclops is deciding to use a focus beam on Nova over there, and it is overloaded, so let's see what happens. All right, so I'm a seven attack on energy versus... 17. 17, so I need 11s. Yeah. All right, so seven attack, I need 11s to hit Nova. 
And that, that is, is an 11, 11 exactly. So uh, that is Nova Two damage. being removed from the game. Nova is now incapacitated. All right, so Gamba here is using another Cyclops. <laughs> Cyclops here is using another two energy up against Gamora. She's uh, he's going to be doing Focus Beam. So here's the roll. So again, we need uh, seven attack versus her defense. I need an eleven on the dice. That's and an that's eight, an not eight, enough. Not enough for two damage on Gamora. So Gamora is fine. And around this is what it looks like. Gamora is still sitting back there, uh, camping out. Cyclops and Claws are over there. Gambit's coming up the side. Deadpool sitting up on top of that building. Nightcrawler is there. And Groot is six inches up that building and within striking range of Nightcrawler's activating and is bamfing away from Groot. And it's just ending right there. And that's his activation. All right. Yep. For my first activation of this round, Gamora is going to be using her two power to move up nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> and try to stand in base contact between the, the marker and Cyclops right there. Uh, she's then going to spend a power to see if, actually she's going to spend three power to Vorpal attack and overload it. Alright, I will physical. Uh, what's his, your defense? Uh, he is 16s down the board, or 15s down the board. Okay, so I'm overloading it for the extra two damage. Okay. Uh, so I am going to physical. This is physical, yep. I will burn the energy to boost my defense. Okay, so he's 17? 17 right now. Okay, so I need to roll 10 or more for this attack to go off. And that's a 5. That attack does not go off, so Vorpal attack misses. Uh, she then is going to make spend another power to activate the artifact and see what happens there. So that is an 8. So that is a successful willpower roll. Okay, that's with the minus two. And so, oh, sorry, no, not with the minus two, because then she'd be at seven. So that is an unsuccessful roll. Um, so that is the end of her activation. She has one power left. Groot's gonna be activated, hopefully, with the master tactician roll by Gamora. Groot will be activating next. Unsuccessfully, so Groot does not activate. We'll go into John's next activation. All right, so Colossus moved over here in base contact with Gamora, and then is attempting to grab her. All right, so she's, he's gonna overload it. Yeah. So that's gonna leave him camping on one energy right now. She is going to increase her energy defense by, that's her physical, physical defense, defense by two. So that leaves her with no power left. So she is defense 17 at the time. So here's the roll. Okay. So his attack is a seven. So I'm looking for 11s on the dice. And that is, is a successful. So yep. she hits, or she is grabs. And where are you throwing her? He's gonna throw her eight inches into back the way she came. Into the building over there. Yep. And he has to roll to hit the building as well. Yes. So, so it's 12. Yeah. And I'm at seven. I will. Just because I don't trust my own dice, <laughs> I have one power left. Yeah, I'm gonna he's going to overload it. And so that is a successful hit versus crit. the building. It's a crit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is thrown into that building and is not thrown and takes uh, three, damage. three damage. All right, so that's the end of Colossus activation. Gamora is over there and is not prone. Groot will be activating next, and he's going to be walking or climbing over towards Deadpool. Groot here is going to be moving five inches from up here all the way over here. And then he's going to be doing, hopefully, some branches out at Deadpool. All right, so I am overloading a branch out up against Deadpool. Are you... 16, you say your attack was? Uh, his attack is six. So you need 11s on the dice. I am gonna burn the energy to make okay. it. So that you need 13s on the dice. All right, let's see if I can actually get a critical or a hit. So that is 14 with a critical up against Deadpool. All right, so, so that is a hit. So yeah, versus effectively an 18 defense right now, you should hit. I do hit, and that is three damage to Deadpool right there. And he's gonna repeat that and try it again, leaving himself with one energy. And that is a miss on that attack. So only three damage to Deadpool. 
and group has one energy left, or one power left, sorry. Yeah. All right, so Deadpool here is gonna be activating next. He's gonna be moving into base contact yeah, so with Groot. one to move into base to base with Groot. That's one power there. Then he's gonna do... He's gonna activate Trick. Trick on Groot, so let's see what happens here. So that's nine with Groot's willpower of eight. That is a fail. So he has to distract two on Groot, so that lowers his physical defense by two to 14. And then just because I don't trust my dice, I'm going to overload and I'm going to go with a stab stab on him. And you're going to do a stab stab overloaded. I will uh, increase his physical defense by two back up to a 16. So we'll see what happens with the attack. Well, that is a critical raid there on Groot. Are you going to try to re-roll that or are you just going to leave it I'm as is? I'm just going to leave it as is because it's right. enough to hit. So and Groot I can't takes get... three damage. And there's nothing else for me to activate this turn, so we'll go back with John's next couple of activations. Gambit's activating is moving seven inches straight ahead. Just ending his activation right there, within range of the alien artifact if he wants to try that next turn. Yeah. And we'll go back with, uh, I believe, Cyclops next. Cyclops. So, Cyclops here is activating next, and he's going to be using Optic Devastation against Gamora, uh, who is within eight inches. So she has an energy defense of 15 right now. Okay, I'm gonna overload, so I'm spending four for this, and yeah. it is still at seven, at seven attack. Yep. So, he needs to get nine or higher on this dice roll here. So that is a hit by Cyclops, and she, he takes three damage. three damage. She is in the pale, okay. and will need a stamina check at the end of this round. Alright, so Cyclops is going to attempt to investigate the artifact. Alright, and then Cyclops uh, decides to move into base contact with one power, uh, into base contact with the artifacts, and is using a power to investigate it. Let's see if he makes his willpower check. And that's a 10. He does not make no, his willpower, willpower check. Eight. That is a failure. So that he cannot activate it for the rest of this round game as well. So uh, that is the end of this round. That is the end of this round. Yeah. All right, we'll come in, back into the fifth round next. Here's stamina check for Gamora at the end of the round. She is knocked out. Beginning of the round, uh, John did get the activation for his X-Men, so Cyclops is going to be activator first. We'll see what he does next. So Cyclops here is going to be probably putting some focus beams into Gamora well, to hopefully she's in take eight, he her out. He's going to start with an optic devastation. Actually. All right, optic devastation on Gamora. So she does have a minus to her defense because she is knocked out. All right, so here's the basic rule: not overloaded against Gamora. So he needs like fours to hit. And that's a hit, so she takes three damage. Three damage. Are you going to do it again? Uh, I can only do it once because it's a blue. Uh, so that's so three she's energy still, to do that. She's still knocked out. But I'm not, not in the over. red yet. Yeah. So but we'll I'm switching over to focus beams now. Focus. And he's just going to keep punching her. Focus beam on Gamora next. Let's see what happens. All right, so uh, any modifiers in the tail? No. Nope. And she just gets attack and power loss when she goes down. Okay. All right, so again, I need force. And there's a critical, critical. hit, so, so she takes three damage. damage. One, two, three, she has one health. Finish her off. Let's see if this focus beam takes her out. And that's, that's another critical, critical and another hit, so she is incapacitated. All right. More is removed from the board. All right, so Groot's gonna be activating, for my only activation this round, he's gonna be activating right there in base contact with Deadpool. Uh, he's then going to try to grab him with an overloaded grab and throw because Gambit is within eight inches of it, so. All right, I have no energy for defense, to right. boost, so I am at 16 defense right now. All right, here's the overloaded grab. That is a successful grab by Groot. He's then going to overload the throw into Gambit. Right. Uh, I have Gambit. a 17 physical defense, and I will boost this one. Okay. Gambit is boosting this, so let's see, I need a 19. So that is 12, plus six is only 18, so that is not a successful throw. Okay. Deadpool is throwing Moved. over the edge. And one inch, one inch away, away from the Yep. So he'll land he will take some fall damage. He will even <laughs> Fall damage of, I believe, seven okay, inches. So he has fallen, uh, it's just under seven inches. Okay. So six inch fall damage. Six to nine, so it wouldn't have mattered, is two fiscal and knocked down. All right, so 
Deadpool takes two physical damage and is knocked down after that throw. So Groot's on two power left after throwing and overloading the shot into Gambit. Uh, he's going to use two power to regrow and heal two damage. And that is the end of Groot's activation. So Gambit is activating next and he is choosing to 52 pick up Groot, who is, uh, it doesn't matter, his physical and defense are both 16. Right. Um, and he has chose to overload it. I have no di uh, power left to increase uh, Groot's defenses, so we'll see what happens. So that's 7 plus 7. 7, plus seven is, 14. is 14. Not enough to damage Groot. To activate and Gambit's last two power he's going to be using to get into base contact with the artifact, and we'll be making a willpower. How you can't actually. Oh yeah, sorry, that's the last two power. Yep. Next phase, he will be making that willpower roll. So that's the end of the round. So we'll go into the end phase and next round next. Yep. So I have initiated this phase, and I am activating Groot first. He is going to spend two power to move down the wall with Wall Crawler and then over an inch and a bit there. He's then going to use Branch Out to attack Deadpool using an overloaded dice. So that is a critical, so he takes three damage. Yes, he does, which will put him in the pale. And then he's going to be doing that one more time, leaving him with an extra power left. Okay, and I have to go down one defense because of the... Uh... Okay. So let's see what happens. So that is 12 plus Groot's attack of 6. So that is another 2 damage to Deadpool. And that is the end of Groot's activation. Okay. Alright, so after Groot's activation, Gambit is going to be activating next. So Gambit is and going to we'll be moving. Over. Spending two power to move himself over there. He does have a good line on Groot if he wants to try that. All right, so an overloaded 52 pickup from Gambit into Groot. I have no power to increase the defenses, so we'll see what happens. Uh, is physical energy the same? Yeah, everything's the same. So that is 12, 12 plus, plus his attack seven of seven. That's a critical. 19. Sorry. So one, two, three, and Groot takes three damage from that attack. We'll do the one to stand. All right, so now Deadpool is activating. He is going to be using one power to stand and then two power to move into base contact with the artifacts and then probably another power to activate the artifact That is exactly again. the plan. So, let's see what happens. Here's the willpower roll. So he's willpower 11. Yeah. Which is kind of shocking. Yeah. So nine or less. And that 14. is a 14. That so is a failure. nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. We'll see right. what happens with... Cyclops and Colossus next. Cyclops is activating next, uh, and he just moved over a bit using one power just to get a clear line of sight on Groot. And then he's so, going to do two focus beams into Groot. And then he's going to be doing two focus beams overcharged. Yep, overloaded. Overloaded, for, sorry. Overloaded for the attack. Yep. Uh, so seven attack versus 16. 16. So we need 10. So first nine. one is nine and is a miss. Let's do the second, second one. Second one is a critical and critical. he takes three damage. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three. He's still healthy though. Groot is Groot. still standing out of all my guardians. He's the only one left. All right, so John thinks it's pretty safe to call it here. Uh, Groot is the only guardian that's standing. Uh, he has two models left to activate Colossus, who really can't do much at this point in time to get into uh, Groot, and Nightcrawler, who would only be able to do a damage or two at most into Groot. Um, so at this point in time, we'll go into the after action report and we'll go over the scenario and everything. All right, guys, welcome to the after action reports. Uh, so John, <laughs> what do you think of that game? I think it was good. I mean, it's first time we've tried out the D8, D8 missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a little bit, we did make one little thing which we noticed after the fact. Um, we were at we were investigating more than we should have. We should have been only investigating yeah. the artifact once around. Yeah, it's once per turn yeah. rather than once per character per turn. So we did yeah. do that a little more then, but I don't think that really had that big an effect on the game, really. No. I mean, when we actually tallied up the victory points at the end, you had scored a total of three victory points. Yeah, so I scored two from uh, successfully activating the artifact, yes, and then it. one because... And then one because you had actually activated it more times than I did. That's right. That's now, right. Now, I managed to at least, even though I never activated it once, I attempted to investigate it. Yep. So that cancelled out the one victory point that, I would have got. that you would have gotten for that. That's right. 
Where he got his three victory points, bringing the game to a draw, is a secondary objective, assassinate, because he took out Star Lord and incapacitated him from the game, yeah. giving you three victory points yeah. right there. Yeah, removed from play at the end of the game, three yeah. victory points. So it was a 3 3 draw between my Guardians and his X Men. Um, do you have a hero of the match? Cyclops. Cyclops. I mean, you can't really argue him. He's no. Just, he goes out there and he just throws out so much damage. That's right. He, I mean, a uh, huge damage output on Cyclops. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, like, it's a bit of a toss-up between him and Deadpool. Yeah. They're both so dangerous. I mean, Deadpool, yeah. that body slide in there, just going after Star-Lord. Yeah. I mean, he was yeah. getting me the victory points. Yeah. And, like, but. for me, I probably could have used Groot a little bit better. But what happened there was that yeah, one that, successful that one roll. successful roll of teleporting. Just everybody was 16 inches away. Yeah. So like my guys that were right close knit all of a sudden were spread out all over the place. And that really left me, because I'm, I'm lower numbers than you, that yeah. left me sort of left you, yeah, left on you my little, butt. Little bit on a little bit in the lurch. That's right. I mean, it didn't so. help that you had clustered up closely on the artifact by having investigated. That's right. So. I mean, but what can you do? You know, that is the game. It's the way the game works. So um, if you guys haven't checked out the D88 rules, they can be found on the Marvel Universe uh, Facebook group, which I do ha I will have a, con or a link to it below. Uh, so definitely check it out there, because usually the Marvel Universe game only has three scenarios from the three starter books, um, or now the, the one the compiled, PDF. Yeah, the compiled PDF. So this just adds some extra uh, uh, flexibility to your scenarios and your matches. It gives you, I think it's something like, what, eight times eight, 64 other options? Yeah, it's essentially, I bet by, com by combining the primary and the secondary objective, yeah. you wind up with 64 different potential missions. Yeah, which is pretty good you know yeah. it, it, that way you're not always playing the same thing over and over and over again so well john thank you very much for the game thank i appreciate you. it yeah. guys remember to like share and subscribe sub, 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 let me try that again <laughs> remember to like share and subscribe subscribe and until next time guys ignite your hobby